All right guys, so it's three o'clock, Monday the 23rd of November. I hunted uh, over the feeder with my bow this morning and saw a couple doe and some turkeys. I had some action on my cell cameras over at a different spot on the property that actually had a buck show up around noon or so. So I think I'm gonna go hunt over there. Only thing is I only have a rifle stand there. I still have a buck tag, so I'm gonna grab my 30-06 this time and I've driven about eh, probably close to a mile half mile to a mile uh, and then I've got about a half mile walk down this trail over here um, I'll turn you on when I get there Crossing. And I think that's because we have quite a bit of toes back here. 
guys, good morning. It is the morning of Wednesday, the 25th of November. It's about 5.38 and this will be my last morning hunting out here. I've got a buck rifle tag left and I won't be hunting rifle season anymore. So I'm gonna go out to the same spot we were at last night. I have a cell camera out there and we didn't see any activity overnight. We had a bunch of rain and then a cold front moved through this morning. So hopefully they're hungry and up and moving and I can get a buck to come in. The wind switched directions too. So it's pretty much a perfect wind for that spot. So I'm gonna go drive out about halfway and then walk about a three quarters of a mile into that spot. I'm literally shaking. It's been 10 minutes already and I'm just, I'm psyched. Man, I'm so pumped. <clears throat> oh, I hope he didn't go far. My trail camera actually got him on the ground because he jumped, fell, and then got up, turned, and took off. I mean, I'm pretty sure I smoked him. I'm pretty 
sure he came the way my wind was blowing too. I just, ah, oh man. What an experience. I'm gonna give him another five minutes and I'm gonna head down and look for blood. some blood here. Got some more. We're about an hour since I shot him. You can see the feeder there. I'm about 30 yards from where I shot him. So either I really suck at tracking blood or y'all just make it look really easy on other YouTube channels. I'll keep going. We'll see where it takes me. So I'm finally in the woods and you can really see, I mean, there's a pool of blood on that. So I should be close. He's bleeding pretty good now. get him out of the woods so I can load him up. how well you can hear this I don't have my external mic with me but finally found him took me about an hour and a half I dragged him out here I think this may be the same guy I passed two days ago so I thought he was a little young which he does seem still probably a little younger than I would have liked but honestly for my first buck ever I'm stoked I mean this is just this is awesome I can't say enough. I want to thank my parents for, you know, purchasing this property and giving me this opportunity. I know they've put a lot of money into this and I've put a lot of money and time into this as well. And man, I can't, I can't be happier right now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get him tagged up and registered and bring him back and gut him and skin him. And, you know, I'm trying to figure out if I want a shoulder mount or a Euro mount and I know he's not huge, but I'm leaning towards the shoulder mount just because he's my first buck and I think it'd be pretty cool to have. But I just want to thank you all for watching so much. I mean, I appreciate all your support. 
it's been a fun year starting my YouTube channel. And this is a great end to Oklahoma rifle season. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.